Hello there, everybody. This is Seawop the Platinum One here, and welcome back to Let's Play Kirby 64. So, last time, we defeated the boss of Aquastar and are one step closer to Ribbon's home planet. And now we're Neo, Neo Star, where I missed two crystal shards here. So, today, this episode is gonna be great. Because this, this stage contains, quite frankly, one of the most annoying crystal shards in the game. Anyway, we're gonna need Needle for this first one, by the way. And I probably should have picked it up right there, but... But, with my luck, I am seriously... I am seriously serious. Okay, so double Needle equals apparently pointy objects, Kirby. <laughs> But yeah, we only need a single needle with any other power of combination. Actually, we just need single needle. But needle with any combination should do as long as it's needle. And something. So, yeah. Either way, I love this power because it's pointy objects. For kids, maybe. Then again, um, Kirby's Dream Collection is ready E10, so, yeah. <laughs> anyway, this level is not really so bad itself. It's just getting that second crystal shot that I was mentioning before is kind of... Eh, let's just say it's kind of. Anyway, let's continue. Continue using Needle to kill all of our thing, all the foes who stand in our way. Whoa. Okay. I, th I didn't think I shown off Double Rock. No. Okay, screw it, then. <laughs> screw Double Rock, then. Actually, no. Don't screw it, because one of them is right here. Oh, jeez. At least I got another chance. What the hell? <laughs> uh, that's what can happen. You can miss, and you won't be able to get your chance at doing it. Actually, you know what? Double Fire. Okay, screw it, then. <laughs> Uh, okay, so this is a pretty much a speedrunning tactic here. Well, getting double fire is a speedrunning tactic in itself, but apparently, since the game didn't want me to get to get double fire, then I'm stuck with single. Anyway, and ah, uh, why, 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 why? Yep. In order to get this crystal shard, you need to make a certain picture look like this, um, a certain thing look like this. It can be any top, it can be anything from a top hat, which is the easiest, pizza being medium, and umbrella being the hardest. This is what you have to do. You have to make the blocks into a specific shape, like so. Getting them can take you a while. I am dead serious. Take it can seriously take you a while. Which is why I have a picture, thank God. <laughs> I have a picture of said thing. Of said umbrella. So that this can be easier. I know it's a sin to cheat, but... In times like this, I don't care. Seriously. Because let me tell you, this is kind of hard. Especially, th especially when playing this for the first time. You won't know what you're supposed to do and how you're supposed to arrange these blocks in such a way. And such. And can you please... Thank you. Want to be careful not to accidentally use your power here, if you have a power. Otherwise, otherwise you won't get the crystal shard. Thankfully, pictures help, so that's... So that's work. That's my best... That's my... That's easily my best recommendation for you. Get a... When you're doing a Pokemon, uh, no, not a Pokemon LP, jeez. Wouldn't you believe I was about to say Pokemon Coliseum? Must have Chugga Conroy on the brains. Anyway, um, that's my best advice for you for getting that particular Crystal Shard if you're doing an LP of this game. Get the pictures of the pizza, of the pizza umbrella or top hat things, and you should be good. Anyway, double fire is really cool. Whoosh! Oh yeah. Feels freaking overpowered, doesn't it? That's because it isn't, but... 
It is, without a doubt, the single greatest method of speedrunning ever. Ah! Yeah. Anyway, if you go by the star right here and drop down, you'll get another crystal shard, so... Yeah. Anyway, that really wasn't as bad, the whole puzzle thing with the crystal, for the crystal shard thing. It was pretty cool. But, ow. <laughs> there I go, getting hit again. And I think this is the end, actually. So my torture is over. Yay! So, let's go up here, and I got the one up! Hooray! Anyway, for this stage, we need ice. For stage 4-4, four, four. so I'm gonna go back here, of course, and I'm gonna get ice, so I'll be right back. Single ice! Hooray! So, let's go and try again. Not really, because apparently that works for whatever reason. And let's go here, where this is without a doubt the best looking part of the game. Yeah! Didn't think you'd see this in Neostar, didn't ya? You thought it was all jungle based and stuff. Well, it's wrong. It's actually a mountain based level. A mountain based world, actually and stuff. And I will admit, this is really cool. This is actually pretty good looking on the N- Ow! This is pretty good looking on the N64. Yeah. But, I'm sorry to anyone who disappoints me, but I think Flame Core and Sonic 06 looks the best. Looks the best. I'm sorry, but the graphics in that game aren't as bad as anyone thinks. I mean, this- I mean, this level does have an essence of Flame Core in it, but... Yeah. But yeah, it just has an essence of flame core. Ugh. Anyway, you want to get these, uh... Uh... Um... What am I trying to say? Those firebirds will give you fire, essentially. So, yeah. They give you fire. I suppose. And, oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Using ice in a fireplace. And again, just like in Stage 4-2, you want to hang on to your power. To get, um... To get the crystal shards. You want to hold on to your power until a certain point. So, yeah. And contrary to what you may think, no, that enemy does not give you the volcano ability right away. I believe that just gives you rock or something. Anyway, King DDD is going to help us out, so let's take advantage of this and destroy that bad guy. Completely obliterate him, I say. Tally ho! And I do believe for one of the crystal shards, you have to break the top of those things. And whoa, whoa, yeah. Anyway, um, jumping with King DDD can get kind of can kind of get tricky here because uh, you'll want to you want to have precise platforming basically. So it can get kind of hard, but in all honesty, it's not really that bad once you know what to do. Once you know what to do, yeah. That's an excuse I never thought I, I never thought I utter. Once you know what to do, it's not that bad. Then again, that's what everyone uses. <laughs> anyway, let's break this. And you want to break the top of that thing in order to get the crystal shard that's there. Ow. Of course. Of course, I get hit by that thing. And let's see. Boop. Oh. Unfortunately, you can't double jump with DDD. That's the thing. You can't double jump or fly with King DDD, according to Pop. Well, well, that's the kind of thing, though. I wish DDD would fly, like in Kirby's Adventure or Nightmare in Dreamland or something, because that would be a freaking useful ability. It just is. Yeah. And whoa. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yep, holding on to your power can get kind of tricky here, especially in this section. Where we can do 3D! Look at us, people! Look at us! No, dead serious, this level looks ac This level looks really cool. Or looks really warm. I'm not as good as making bad puns as he is, okay? This is all I got. When you're in the platform game, you're, 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 you're fresh out of material. I don't know. I don't know, maybe that's just me or not, but... I'm not really good with platformer games with, with LPs as much as I am. 
I don't know. Then again, Zelda is technically is technically a platformer in itself. I don't know. I don't know. Parts of it are platformers, but who knows? Who knows? When I do the next when I do my next Zelda LP, maybe I'll have some more material. So yeah, this level has actually been pretty easy on me with with holding on to my power. With holding on to OW! With holding on to ice. It's ooh. Ow. If that thing can stop doing that for a second, that would be really wonderful, but of course it can't. The game can't give me a break. Anyway, we're gonna need ice in order to get this power or, or not the power. In order to get that crystal shard, jeez. Yeah. Now here's where the level can get kinda sorta tricky. Because if we go past here. Oh no, is this the lava flow? Run away! Run away! And get the candy while we're at it. The candy is most important, not the basic means of survival. Yeah, because I'm almost... because I'm almost half of my health. <laughs> yeah. Then again, I want to be safe here. Let's get this can popsicle. Kill this guy. Get the cake. Kill the guy again. Ow. And get the candy again. Hooray! Now let's continue hoppeting, hoppeting, hoppity, hoppity. And you know what? Speaking of my talk of Flame Core earlier, that actually, that first section actually reminds me a lot of Flame Core too. Except you can't get blind, can't get blindsided by the meteors. Jeez. I mean, I get blind, I got blindsided in the last part simply because of my stupidity and my lack of vision, but who knows? But who knows? Maybe something will happen. Anyway, we want to hurry and fly on the left side right here, because your last crystal shard for the level is right here. So now is the proper time to properly get the math out of here. Because Adventure Time Speak is cool. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let ow! Okay, let me get up there, please. I don't want to get fried. Because you know what they see. I got nothing. <laughs> I'm tending to make a Mario joke there, because I can do an impression of Hotel Mario's Mario voice really good, but apparently it, that didn't happen. Oh, I got the one up. Cool. So anyway, guys, we could take on the boss right now, but we still have those crystal shards to get, so I'll be right back, of course, with Dynamite Kirby. Okay, jumping again. Oh, 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 of course, of course, of course, of course I have to go back. Of course I have to go back to get that crystal shard. Again, well, at least that's a... At least that's... A, what am I trying to talk? I, I can't talk today. I'm sorry. I can't talk. Maybe that's what caused me to lose that crystal shard. Well, at the very least, we can get the other one out. Assuming I don't die. I'll probably just meet you guys back at the place where we have to use Dynamite Kirby. Assuming I don't die. Okay, back here again. Where have I seen this before? Oh wait, that's right, I died here before. So automatically, I failed. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Getting 100% in Kirby games is not that easy. And how the heck did I manage not to get hit by that guy? I'll never know. The world may never know. Of course, the world does know, but who cares? At least I got a, at least I got a health refill. And whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, good. Okay, good. I made it past the wart. Okay. Okay. Out. No. 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 I lost my dynamite ability. Of course, I'm gonna go back. Of course, and I'm gonna get bomb and drunk again. Of course, and I'll go be right back. I oh god, why? See, this is exactly the thing I'm talking about. Getting 100% in this thing, in this thing, whatever it is. It's hard, man. It's just hard. Okay, there we go. 
I'll just cut to eventually when I get it. See you in a moment. Guess who's back? Boom, boom, boom. Back again. Attempting whatever. <sighs> it doesn't necessarily help that there are no checkpoints either, so... Ow. How much you want to bet I'm going to die? No, seriously. How much do you want to bet I'm going to die? Here. I'm going to freaking die and then I'm going to get pissed off or whatever. And just lose my mind. At least I have a lot of hit. At least I'll take plenty of hits. And whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh. Okay, I didn't lose my power. Okay. Nope, nope. Can't can't rest easy yet. Can't rest easy yet. And there we go. Hooray! I actually made it! I suck! Anyway, dynamite! Boom! Crystal shard. There! It auto saves. Thank god. Boss time, let's go! So now we got this boss, Magman. So basically, pretty much like, um, the boss of Solar from Star Fox. Pretty much you'll want to, uh, attack its arm hill thingies, or whatever they are. I don't know what they are. Then again, I don't know what anything is. So, me being the awesome Kirby fan that I am, I am going to dodge those things. Okay. Okay. It's cool. It's fine. I'll just get another power and I'll be right back. Okay, so... What I just got was Needle and Rock, which is... Drill Kirby! Ow! Drill Kirby! I honestly love this power. It's pretty cool. And unfortunately though, that means propellers things for it to win, but you can shoot the drill too. So, that's pretty good, I suppose. Yeah. You can shoot the drill to hit the bad guy, or whatever. It's kinda neat, though. Though you can use it to do speedrunning tactics, of course. Pretty much like double fire and everything, so... Yeah. Anyway, second phase. So, now he's gonna chase us all the way over to this part of the arena. And basically, we gotta hit him in his face now. I do believe it's his weak point now. So, let's hit him in his face, and then he's gonna come over here and be all weird like this. But thankfully, Drill Kirby saves the day! Hooray! So, drill him! Drill him! And, whoa! Holy crap, I got hit by killing him. That's cool. Alright. So here's our fourth major crystal shard. Awesome. And it only took me 25 and a half minutes. Well, that was kind of unexpected. So anyway, here we have the next world, which we'll be doing next time, Shiver Star. If you look at it really closely, you can see it's a sort of post-apocalyptic Earth. It's all covered in ice and everything. See, look at that. There's North America, South America, there's Africa, Asia, Europe, whatever. And I do believe there's Japan. <laughs> then again, it is Japan. So, next time on Let's Play Kirby 64, we're going to Shiver Star. So, see you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.